stupid. I can do all things through Christ. That's he know it already. He's stupid. That's why he fights you. Because he's upset. Uh, I got belly worms and she can do all things through you. Uh, I got to fight her. Uh, punch, 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 punch. That's why he fights you with simple, simple illnesses. That's why he allowed, like, told Lord to break my neck. Because he wanted to kill me. Because he's not be here doing this. And no amount of our listeners or lack of listeners will stop me. I'm still going to be doing this. And my cells are hopping. Every time I do this, right now, even in my body, I feel like safety pins are stabbing me all over. And I'm walking back and forth. And come out of that, I even knew the feeling that I had in my back right now. And I'm still going to be doing this. And I'm still going to be doing this. Hey. I'm going to be doing this. Mama Karadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadad
I'm serious about church where? In the sun, 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 in the sun. <laughs> Skin like bacon. Bacon. And I like my arms. So you know I didn't wear t-shirts. So I wore a hoodie everywhere I went. A hoodie everywhere I went. Growing up, a hoodie. Always. You had to dress like that, even if you were a girl. Because if you didn't, you either got raped or you got beat down. And I told him, yes, I said, I said, come on, we got stories. I was like, my cousin and I, we were going, I, I had to get my cousin because we were dressed in white and black, right? But when we came back, because we were supposed to sing in the choir, we came back, we were dressed in white, black, and red. Because here's the thing, we had to go to the store. Grandma sent us to the store to go to IGA. So we had to walk up Avon Avenue Hill and then come back with her beans, right? So we went to the store. About five boys saw, uh, saw us, right? So we got jumped, right? So I don't know why, when my cousin Lilwood, he a boy, three boys came against me. What the, what the blood of Jesus? What is going on here? I am a female, a female. No. They didn't care. I said, okay. I started spinning that bag around. I tore them up. One of them got me, though. Punched me in the face. I said, one of them. Come on, Lord. Stop crying. Get up off the ground. Let's go to church. Serious. That's exactly what happened. We got back to my grandma's house. He's still crying. I was like, you better stop crying. We got back to my grandma's house. He said, he's like, we got jumped. I was like, shut up. We all right. Just wipe yourself off. Come on. Let's go to church. We got to sing in the choir. They're going to march in in a couple of minutes. Come on. In the sun, in the sun, because the sun was out. God saw us, the sun was out. They ended up running. They jumped us, but they got no money. They got no beans. Beans, beans, good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you... None of that. They didn't get any of that. They didn't get to run with it. Esau got the beans, at least. You ain't got the beans, the birthright, nothing. I tore you up. In the sun, in the sun. A lot of people cry. I said, come on. Everybody go through stuff. Y'all act like, I hate to say it like that, but y'all act like place, other places that you see on the news is so bad. It's not. They are used to being in situations like that. I'm telling you, I, New New Jersey was all I knew. So I didn't know I was abused. Until Dyfus picked me up and said, you are abused. I said, I had nervous breakdowns in the hospital for three months and I still can't remember what happened. I think they hit me over the head like Yogi the Bear. And there was birds going around my head. <laughs> in the sun, right? I just remember Brian, my best friend, his mother taking me to the hospital because I could not talk. I had no, I could not talk. It takes a certain amount of energy to talk. I did not have that. So I was in the hospital for three months. Are you confused? Do you think that places around you are not suffering just as badly as what you see? There are people standing right next to you. Ask them about their testimony. My thing is, uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not an advocate for not helping people, but I'm saying invest in what's around you first. Build up what's around you first. If I invite somebody to come in and my thumb is sliced off, and I invite people to come in and I say I will help you, and my thumb is hanging on by a thread, I can't help them, nor can I help myself. Why? Because without the thumb, you are a cat. You don't have opposable thumbs, so you can never flush the toilet. <laughs> so everybody's gonna be messed up because you can't flush the toilet. Because you, you invited people to your house with a sliced up thumb. Um, you made a mistake. In the sun, did the sun tell you to do that? Here's the thing. If you invest in everybody, right in the body where you are, where the body is at, make sure that they're okay. I'm not saying the best money. I'm saying make sure that they're okay, that they're operating properly. Are they praying like they should? The more people we pull in into a body that's not praying, the more people we pull in to a cancerous situation. And here's what happens. You will lose all of them, including the ones that you paid to come in because the body's not strong you may want to help but they just are not ready I may want to do something I love Pastor David because he won't mm -mm. if I'm not ready for it I could beg it, it won't affect them but it's almost like mm, whatever and I, you said you're begging Jenny, but in my head I heard raisins, 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 raisin brand, raisin brand. I, I, I could be saying apples, apples, <laughs> apples, apples. What's always fooling me? Apples, 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 apples. I'll be saying that. 
in the sun, right? God said, first, before you invite others in, you must first tell the ones that you have about the turn and get them to turn around and see me from the backside of the cross. I was naked, right? His tushy cheeks were hanging out, right? I'm being honest about it. His tushy cheeks were hanging out. So every part of shame he had in it, right? Because who had seen his naked body but himself? Nobody, not even his mother, because his mother isn't changing him anymore. There's been, there's been years since she's seen those cheeks. It's been, it's, been, it's been years since your mama has seen your cheeks. I hope. It's, it's, it's been, 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 been years. And God said, so he's saying right now, I'm trying to listen to him first. There's a personal touch that a mother has when she changes her baby that no one else will be able to uh, um, imitate, right? Same thing with the father. There's a personal touch that he has, but he cannot imitate what the mother has. Because the baby came out of her. The baby was in her and came out of her. So the baby saw, oops, I bumped into her bladder. Oops, I'm laying on her, um, her, her rib cage. Oops, it's comfortable. I can scratch my back. I scratch my back. My back. <laughs> my neck, my back, right? Relax my hair and my track. Come on. In your belly. Your baby's doing all of that. In your belly. <laughs> I hope not. But there's a personal touch, and we're not being nasty because it's not like James. What I am saying is a personal touch that our baby knows that the mother loves them. I believe, I believe personally, it's that um, it's in the fingertips. Because the father's the first sign of I of security that the baby will know, and the mother would be the first sign of identity. I identify with this woman when I hold up five fingers. She can put her five fingers up to mine, and when she does that, I can feel her pulse. Through her fingertips, it connects me to her heart. I have none of that, right? So I connected to Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You know, the whack one. The whack Father, the whack Son, and the whack Holy Spirit. When I wasn't real, boy. I'm going to try saying, He's real, real, real. Jesus is real. To me, they yeah, talk about people singing and being able to sing certain songs with the anointing, be able to do poetry. And I mean, people get up and start screaming in the church and praise the God when I did poetry. And I would just walk off because I didn't feel anything. And so if you want to know about my anger and why I'm so angry, it's because of the fact that I've been for 40 years worshiping a God that didn't exist. I had an idol. I'm in here chanting. Fun? Fun or funny? Tommy, we'll be at your funeral. <laughs> I'm not playing. It's that kind of day. I want to know him so that I can make him known. I want to know him in the power of his resurrection. I want to know him in the fellowship of his suffering. I want to know him so that I can be made conformable to his death. What death? Not the Jesus that died. I can't be made conformable to his death. Why? I just got beat for stuff. You understand that Satan just had me get beat and I could not connect to the real God to even pray about it, right? I couldn't say, well, big brother matches up with me and these scars, right? I like I said, boobs and scars. They talk about it. Isaiah. I chill with my big brother, right? Right? You can play Miss Mary Matt because I identify with my big brother. That's my identity. Even though I had nothing, all I had was Jesus. And now you tell me that I did not even have that. I thank God for Pastor David telling me. Now I want to really do something to somebody because I'm from North New Jersey I'm not from Baghdad I'm not from the Ukraine so people don't see us on the news because news copters won't come to North New Jersey they still laugh about stuff like that I watched my god brother get shot and die in front of me and all the crowds came and everybody's coming in I mean literally there's over 300 people on my street right in front of the house my mother's shoving her household into his uh, wounds and he's just bleeding out on the street and I'm like mm, my hand on my uh, chin okay mm, and she's screaming, who's going to call the ambulance? Did anybody call the ambulance? And the ambulance, it took them three hours to come. Of course he died. Anybody get shot in New Jersey, they die. You want to know who died? Just go to my street this, today, South 18th Street, between South Orange Avenue and 14th Avenue. Go to South 18th Street and look on the corner of the street. Look down on, and look for chalk writing. You will see who died today. And they don't write who died today. They just write R.I.P. Salam, because that was his name. Does my story mean less 
because you value those people more? I'm sitting here in front of you and I'm an opposable thumb. How valuable am I? Without me, you can't even get toilet tissue. Or you ain't able to get the tissue. But hey, yo guys from the Ukraine, can you come help me wipe my bum? Yeah. Because you can't wipe your bum without a thumb? How? But as we stand at the back of the cross, every part of his body exposed. We're not going around to the back of it. I wonder if people went around to the back of it and started spitting at him from that angle and mocking him, right? And telling him what he was good for. From the back of it, you know? Like people tell me, uh, to my face, when I, or even on Jonathan Street, or when I be walking down the street at, uh, in Jersey, people tell me, uh, Jamie, you ain't nothing. And they'll spit comments at me as I walk by. And then even after that, they'll spit comments at the back of my head. I'm used to it. That's why I had headphones. If I was having a particularly bad day where I felt particularly sheepish and introverted, I had headphones to handle it. And noise canceling, mm, mm, mm. show sure enough good, ain't it? We stand behind the cross and we look up at him. Because we turned it, right? Instead of seeing him from the front of the cross, everybody looking at him from the front of the cross, we stand behind the cross and we look up at him. And what do we see? We see for the joy set before him. He endured, right? We see that though he slay me, yet will I trust him. We see, mm -mm -mm. I learned, and whatever, so what, so, so whatever state I am in to be content, we see there is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. We see, and 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 I, and we know all, all things work together for good to them that love God. We see, for I am persuaded. He was persuaded, and you know that from the back of the cross, not the front. I am persuaded. But the back of the cross shows you the image that says of what he's done, not what he's doing or what's happening to him. The back of somebody will already tell, always tell you what the person's done. I, if I'm walking past you, you would shout comments at me as I'm walking past, which always happens. When you're talking to the back of me, you're talking to what I have already done. What, what, what have I done? I walk past you and ignore you. And you feel stupid. <laughs> They don't jump the street. We, they, you see what I have done when I walk by you. After I walk by you, I just gotta make it by you. And after I walk by you, I stomp the yard, I stomp the ground, I walk harder when I know people are shouting and jeering at me. I have a walk. When I know I gotta walk somewhere that I don't wanna walk, I have a walk. I know how to do a Tyra Banks model walk. I will stomp the ground in front of you and you don't even know that I'm doing it. Put on my best shoes, right? My highest heels, my best dress. I am the best dressed woman inside this church. Right, wrong. Miss <laughs> Debbie is every week. <laughs> I put my bow of flower in my hair. I put something up there so that you can get a gardenia's view of it. It's like a stomp the ground in front of you. If I'm walking by you and I don't look like I'm shaking, I am my, at my most inadequate, insignificant. Consider it, but insecure. We see. From the back of the cross, and we see what he's already done. I don't care what you, I don't care what you say. You, uh, you never see the back of somebody and think what they already, um, who, uh, what they're about to walk into. When they're walking towards you, you think they're coming towards you. You're about to have an encounter. When they're walking past you and uh, up and behind, beyond you, you think what they've already done. You don't think. Oh, that's what he's done. You better cut it in the eye. Oh, that's what he's done. Get it in the eye. Hallelujah. We praise you for what you've done, God. We worship you. We take a let's take a praise break right there. We thank you, God, for what you've done, and we worship you, God. There is none like you, Father. You are You are the master physician. There, there's no hurt in my body that you can't heal. For no weapon. For no weapon. 
for no weapon formed against me shall prosper. The devil is under my heel. I got it. I, hallelujah. For the prayer of faith still heals the sick. In God's glory, I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. God said, by the wound in my side, I am healed. I him say, as I said, I am healed. I him say, by the wound in my side, I am healed. By the wound in my side, I am healed. You start speaking their language. They can't help but respond to you. Say, thank you, Jesus, enough. You will get an answer. He'll start talking to you. And you want, he, when you do that, check this out. If you say, thank you, Jesus, just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I, go into, I just can't help. I go up to worship. But say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because they know I done learned the trick. Say, thank you, Jesus. And just keep, keep saying, thank you, Jesus. Say, even when you, you run out of um, water in your mouth, just close your mouth, swallow, then do it again. Right? Keep saying, thank you, Jesus. You know what happened? Give it about five minutes. You know what happened? You'll hear information from God. And you'll hear information from God about stuff that you would not ask him about. That's how I know what's really on my heart. He speaks to you about what's really on your heart. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth truly speaks. So when you're saying thank you, Jesus, you're saying thank you for giving me the information. About what giving me the information that I will need. About thank you for giving me the information. I have. Because then he starts to give it to you. Because you already said thank you. But you don't even know you're looking for information on it. Because that's not what you think is on your heart. But he reads your heart. Other people break your heart. But he reads your heart. He knows. Oh, God. Uh, hallelujah. Oh, he said, for I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor see begging bread. He said, I will never forsake you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He was 13, 5, 6. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Also, because he never leaves you nor forsake you, let's go back to the Psalms. He said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. So because he never leaves you nor forsake you, you have God, you get the benefits of that, which means... You always have bread. You live in Bethlehem. Which means if you live in Bethlehem, what does that mean? You got Judah. I said, why is it that it sticks out for me? We were talking about Ruth yesterday. It said, Bethlehem, Judah, Bethlehem, Judah. And then I realized it. It's under the tribe of Judah. Bethlehem, Judah. Where are you living? Where are you living, son? How are you living? How are you living, son? At the end of the day, no matter where you live, no matter who you are around, make sure you get the opposite view, the backside view of the cross.